Once, a young schoolboy was caught in a fire accident in his school and was assumed that he would not live, and even if he were to survive, he would be a cripple throughout his life. But the brave boy did not want to die nor did he want to be a cripple. To be the amazement of the doctor, he did survive. But unfortunately from his waist down, he had no motor ability. His thin legs just dangled there, lifeless. His determination to walk was indomitable. One day, he threw himself from the chair and pulled himself across the grass, dragging his legs behind him. He reached the picket fence, raised himself up and then stake by stake, he began dragging himself along the fence, his resolve to walk undeterred. He did this every day, with faith in himself that he would be able to walk unaided. With his iron persistence and his resolute determination, he did develop the ability to stand up, then to walk haltingly, then to walk by himself and then to run. And in February 1934, in New York City's famed Madison Square Garden, this young man who was not expected to survive, who would surely never walk, who could never hope to run, this determined young man, Dr. Glenn Cunningham, ran the world's fastest. Subscribe for more video.